what kinds of things can you mix in with concrete? Now, to explain further, what I mean is, let's start with a basic concrete mix. So you have your Portland cement, and then you have your aggregates. So the Portland cement is kind of like the glue, and the aggregates are the things that you're gluing together. So what if, instead of sand and gravel, you just had sand, so you had glue and sand? Well, that's called mortar. That's something that you use all the time for concrete applications. It's different than concrete, because concrete, technically speaking, would be Portland gravel and sand, but you're only making mortar because it's just Portland and sand. Well, what happens if you start adding other things? Maybe you take out some sand, but you put some other stuff in, like vermiculite, for example, which is a mineral, a very lightweight mineral with very high insulation properties. You can add that to concrete, and what you'll make is a type of concrete that's a lot weaker than a full strength concrete mix, but something that has a lot more insulation properties, as well as being slightly different physically, having different physical properties, not as strong as regular concrete, having a little bit more cushion, a little more give, but that's a different application that you can use it for and something that you can achieve by substituting aggregates into a concrete mix. Well, what else can you put in besides vermiculite? Well, vermiculite concrete is something that you use for swimming pools, but depending on what you're trying to make, you could potentially put all kinds of things into a concrete mix. You could put marbles or chunks of broken glass or circuits from a circuit board or any number of different naturally occurring aggregates and minerals. And any one of these things can potentially be used to make a concrete. Now, almost universally, anything other than sand and gravel is going to reduce the strength of concrete. That's the way you make the strongest concrete. But you can make concrete slightly less strong, still usably strong, but with more interesting aggregates in it, such that maybe if you grind the top of it to polish and expose those aggregates, it could look very interesting or visually compelling. And that's kind of where decorative concrete applications come in, where you remove some of the aggregates and you add in something else interesting into the concrete mix. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.